Hey and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we'll talk about the Venus OS 3.42. Let's get started. In today's video, yes you guessed it right, we'll do another update on Venus OS. It was just released on September 11th, so it's a couple days old already. But it's also a very small update, so let's see what it actually means and what our change log looks like. So as always we'll go through the change log or release notes, whatever you want to call them here. And then we'll do the update on my Raspberry Pi and I'm saying it's purposely first which is the device here right in front of me and then the second update will be on my Raspberry Pi 3 also has a couple connections so we'll go through all those connections because both have in the meantime different purposes and different connections to it so let's get started with the re release lock so this is a change lock and we can see the section 342 that is actually that is actually what we're talking about in this video because version 3.41 Yes, there was another video already out there, up there, boop. Um, we don't have to talk about that, so we'll talk about 342. Let's see, fix error number 122. Remotely over the VRM portal updating multi and quattro inverter charger systems with VE bus BMS version two installed. And a second fix, all known communication issues with com app Gen Z, start stop controllers. Uh, I have this, I'm not using this at all, so I'm not sure what it is. Maybe you know what it is, and maybe you're interested in this, but I can't test it, so I'm not sure what it is. Same applies to the first one, I can't really test that, so we'll just go through, install in both of my units, test some production unit, and then we'll see what it means. So, Raspberry Pi 4 is uh, in quotes my test unit in Raspberry Pi. Well, actually, in the meantime, I can't say that there's a Raspberry Pi which is my test and production unit, so keep that in mind. We will just do the number four first, because that's right in front of me. I have a display connected, and the Raspberry Pi 3 is the one which is uh, not here, doesn't have a display connected, just via remote, cover both cases. Let's get started. Right now we're looking at the Raspberry Pi 4, and to show you what it actually has connected, we'll go into menu, and then we can see it has a one wire temperature sensor and by the way i'm using setup helper so hopefully that will always work after an update and make it pretty easy to get back to where we left it so yeah one wire temperature i have a fresh water tank sensor that is correct i have the multi plus which is currently off correct i have the raspberry pi processor temperature that is correct i believe um, that's installed through setup helper i have a smart hunt and I have a wastewater tank sensor, so two different sensors installed through the GX Tank 140. Let's go into firmware first, just to see if we can see the update. And check for updates, do this check one more time. And there it is. Before we do an update, let's go to Node Red really quick. So this is my Node Red, and uh, there are videos out there. Whoop, up there is part one. I do have a uh, part two as well, and uh, the GX tank is uh, also another, you know, episode. It's not a part three actually, but it is another uh, episode of Node Red as well. And we can see it's here. What we want to do is always do an export. That's the way how I uh, save it. And I want to just do flow one. What I do is just download and I'll save the file in case I need it. Uh, flow 2, I don't have anything really important, so that's why I didn't include that as well. But you could, when you want to do just do all flows, and then everything is included, even configuration stuff like that. So that might be the better way. And you have everything back. Uh -huh. In case I need to restore it, I would go here and do an import. Okay, let's do the update which means going down here on this one and we'll do double click. Oh, there we go. I'll be back as soon as this is installed and it's most likely rebooted. We'll go to my Raspberry Pi 3 and I'll tell you what's connected there. And you can see we do have a Phoenix inverter, which is currently off. And then we have a propane tank, which is a sensor, the MOPEC sensor. Then we have the Raspberry Pi processor temperature. We have a SFK battery. 
and the smart trend as well you can see last time there was a fix uh, the group up there is a SFK driver update which should have fixed I believe this disruptancy but it didn't work out charge it two times already to full uh, and smart trend obviously and then we have the solar charger from Victron as well let's get started with uh, go to settings go to firmware 341 online update let's see check for updates let's also do the node red export really quick so we have a couple things and as we uh, mentioned the gx tank 140 we also talked about we also talked about uh node red here so let's do an export all flows download I've downloaded it i've downloaded it come back now we do the update and see if we have more luck here on this device since i don't have or differentiate in test and production device anymore that's the way to go for me. I'll be back as soon as we have an um, update. Oh yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Fumo installed rebooting. That's good. Dark mode. Let's see. Up. Oh, it's back. Nice. Okay, it's back, but we can see um, setup help is not installed yet. Why is that the case? No one knows. Let's see. Package manager, there it is. Check for downloads and installs. Okay, let's let's wait. It should be back. Probably the reboot took definitely a couple more minutes. I felt like this time, so we'll see what it means here. Okay, it doesn't look like it doesn't look like that it installed. Restart initialize. Let's say we'll restart the GUI and see if we can get it back. I'm definitely impressed with how much how much trouble I have this time. Both devices. Very sad. anything actually ah there it is okay there we go I think the restart did somehow work and now we're back to dark mode let's go into settings real quick firmware and see we have firmware 3.41 that's how it should be happy to finally see it and looks like we have everything in here. Nice. The only thing what I can check here is turning on a Phoenix inverter. Then we should see that it's pulling a little bit load. Nice. We have to prepare to ink. Everything is here. Okay. That worked even though with uh, setup helper not immediately working so that is a bummer to see but it is what it is all right let's switch back to our raspberry pi 4 which just rebooted and i guess it <laughs> didn't work again no it didn't work wow well that's an interesting glitch so <laughs> said 100 percent, but i don't know if it Show the banner of installing successful. We'll see when it's back up. Oh, it actually looks like it did something. Let's see. I don't want to jinx it, but let's reconnect. Settings. Firmware. And we have it finally. Oh god, you want to know the solution? Well, same like last time. I had a troubleshooting video out there for 3.41. And I thought it might be the multi plus. It's still disconnected. But it was not, I guess, maybe. Um, so this time I disconnected the GPS antenna. And that did the trick, it looks like. So at least that's the last change I did. And now we have it, 342. For sure, that's nothing to expect. But let's go back to the menu and really quick. See if we have everything connected. We have the one wire. We have the fresh water tank, which is connected through the GX. Uh, 
Uber tank 148, and it does actually work. You can see it's changing the percentage. I just pulled out the, uh, I can do it again. Yep, there we go. Pulled out the sensor. We have to multiplies. I'll turn it on in a second. We have the Raspberry Pi processor temperature, smart chunt, and the wastewater tank, which is, yep, there we are, 100% and 0%. So almost everything is tested, but let's test. First of all, the multiplus. Turn it on. I heard it over there. I think you also heard it. There's no load or anything connected to it, so that's fine. Uh, that's the one thing. And the second one is, here we go. I can hear our relay board works. This one also works. Perfect. Yeah, and as I tested here already. There we are. There we are. Okay, cool. Um, took me four or five attempts actually to get it here, but we got it. So I'm happy it's in one video. So I think it's a cheap ass next time. I, I don't know. I will test it next time again. If that happens again and I'm not able to quickly resolve it and I have to install it completely new and make a fresh installation. But what I didn't test, I look at Node Red. Let's refresh. There we are. Looks good. And what I didn't test on the other device. Road red, no dread as well, so refresh this one on the Raspberry Pi 3, also still there. Okay, cool. We're done. <laughs> this video is way longer than I wanted to, so about that. I'm happy it worked out. We got everything updated completely. That's what I want to see, and it worked out. Subscribe to the channel if you like that stuff, what I'm doing here, as well as I ha I'm having a lot of renewable energy batteries, which you can connect to the SFK battery. Maybe there's SOK battery coming in as well pretty soon. If that works out, they're also working on a solution that looks like to integrate with uh, Victron and Venus S. That would be amazing to see that battery as well, um, not only SFK. Uh, and then there are all obviously a lot of Chinese batteries I'm testing here, all different kind of. And this setup, for example, with the MultiPlus, I'm having a 48 volt battery from XRH up there. It's a video. So, yeah, thanks for watching and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Cheers!